I have Polly Pockets. What's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my Sailor Moon YouTube channel. These came out last year. They ain't new. They've just been sitting in my room for a very long time. So I do want to mention these aren't actually Polly Pockets. They're really called the Compact House Premium Collection, but I'm going to call them Polly Pockets because they're straight up Polly Pockets, okay? Okay. If any of y'all grew up in the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. I was obsessed with those things. Those Polly Pocket things were like my obsession. I loved all of them. I had so many in my house and then I lost them all. I lost all the pieces. I don't know what happened to them. My mom probably gave them away to Goodwill or something. That's probably what happened actually. But I miss them. So the fact that we have Sailor Moon Polly Pockets now, I'm excited. This is good news. So both of these came out, um, a while back. I will put the exact release time down below because I don't remember. And they were fairly priced when they first released. Unfortunately, now they have gone up in price a lot. So people have been reselling these for very expensive prices. If you can find one of these for a reasonable price, I would say grab it because they are definitely hard to find. I am glad that I pre-ordered them, but now I'm gonna open them because I open all of my collection items. It's always fun to open and play with all the things. Listen, I never had access to this stuff as a kid. So that's my goal with this channel is just to like open all these toys and actually play with all this stuff. I really am a 36 year old child, okay? So the first one we have here is the I guess I should tell you about the product. The first one I have here is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Compact House Premium Collection, which features Sailor Moon's original compact brooch. On the back, we have a bunch of information written in Japanese. Feel free to translate that at your own will. We also have a sticker down here that is the Toei Animation sticker, which lets you know that this is a licensed product. Now, this one is the first one that they came out with. This does feature a few different little pieces, and it also has the compact, which is the compact house, hence Polly Pocket. I'm going to be extremely careful with opening this because I don't want to like flick these pieces around and have them get lost because that's all I need. Ah. Okay, there we go. I'm also going to be keeping this because I will most likely put all these pieces back in this container so that they don't get lost because these are teeny, teeny, tiny little pieces, little toys. So this is a display stand. Ta-da, check it out. So cute, right? I know, right? Now let's take a look at all these cute little pieces because they're all adorable. So here we have Luna. Luna has little red eyes like a demon. She has a little crescent moon on her head. She's really adorable. Her head is gigantic compared to her body and she stands on this little white stand. And then we have a little table, very cute. Looks like it has a little radio on there. A notepad, probably for Usagi to do her homework, which she never does. That's about it for that one. There's a cute little chair and we have this adorable little stuffed bear. It's not really stuffed, it's just, you know, it's made out of plastic. But this little stuffed animal bear, she's so cute. Last but not least, of course, we have Sailor Moon. So Sailor Moon is transformed. She's so cute and teeny, teeny, tiny. I'm glad I have nails so I can stick her between my nails because she'd be very easy to lose. Not a lot of detail going into her outfit or her design, which, Honestly, I'm not surprised about it, given how teeny tiny she is. That would be pretty hard to do. And here's the compact house. So on the front, we have this gold plating. It looks like it would easily scratch based on, you know, the plastic that it's made out of. So it's not high quality or anything. We also have four different gemstones for the inner Sailor Guardians, as well as the pink one in the center, which you would expect. It does clip into place. There's a little blue plastic piece right here that clips it into place so it stays locked. You just have to pull it open. And here we have the very detailed compact house. So this is why I called it a Polly Pocket. So on the interior, on the lid, we have Osa P, the store. We have the game center right next to it. So this is like downtown Azabu Juban, which is where Usagi and all of her friends go to school and all of them live. So that totally makes sense. It's very cute. There's a teeny tiny little platform, I would say, at the bottom of the lid, which is where you can stand the characters. On the bottom piece, we have Usagi's bedroom. So this is where you can set her table, her chair, the little stuffed animal, 
all of that can be included in the bedroom piece. I think it's really cute that the bed itself does have Usagi's print on it. We also have the really, really adorable chicken alarm clock over on the side. Oh my goodness. Lots of detail on the inside of this. It looks really good. Oh, I did notice I do have a flaw on mine right there. There's some scuffing of the gold paint. There's also some scuffing of the gold paint on the other side too. Definitely a lot of flaws on the bottom piece for mine in particular. Not made the greatest for sure. What do you think of the inside of this Polly Pocket house? Isn't it cute? So let's go ahead and put this together. I will show you this on the top down so I don't spill any of the pieces. I think I will put her table with her radio over here, the chair over there in the corner. I'm gonna put the stuffed animal on the chair. Where should I put Luna? Maybe at the game center? Oh shit, oh she don't lose the pieces. Don't lose the pieces. Maybe she, sh she should be on the bed like yelling at Usagi to do her homework. There you go. Usagi, do your homework. Oh. I lost the stuffed animal. That's okay. It's going to belong on the floor. Usagi, you need to do your homework. I know. I know I do. There's my pieces. What do you think? What do you think of my design? Oh, I'm losing the table and the chair. <laughs> so if you're wondering how you can display this without losing all the little pieces, here's a little pro tip. Museum putty. Yeah, museum putty. I use it for all of my little teeny tiny pieces that go with like my petite charas because you can just stick a little dab of museum putty in between the plastic piece on the bottom of any of these characters and then stick it on the, the plastic or the acrylic that they're sitting on and it just sticks them into place. Museum putty is wonderful for displaying teeny tiny pieces. It's also great if you live in earthquake country like I used to. So if you're in the Bay Area, like where I used to live, definitely get yourself some museum putty for your collection. That's my pro tip for the episode. There you go. Please subscribe. Now, what do we do with this thing? Yeah. You may notice on the top down camera that this, this is top heavy, so it keeps on tilting over. So if you do want to display this with it open, you stick this little piece behind it and that will set it perfectly level. So then you can stick all your pieces in here without them flying all over the place. Uh, okay, this thing is, oh. I think I understand why they didn't make any more of these because they're kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, definitely get some museum putty for these. Okay, I'm gonna close that so I don't accidentally like tilt that over and lose all the pieces. Let's talk about the next one. This one is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal Compact House Premium Collection. Again, so this is the Sailor Moon Eternal version. Now this time we have the Kuraisisu Moon Kom Kom. Pakuto, Crisis Moon Compact. And this first one was, of course, Sailor Moon's brooch. Okay, so let's talk about the Crisis Moon Compact. So this one also comes with some pieces. It also works the same way. It's basically like a Polly Pocket. It's a very cute box. I love that it's a window box. So if you want to leave these in the window and you want to display them that way, you totally can. And that's probably what I will do. On the back of this, again, we have the toy sticker. Wonderful, so happy that we have those to tell us if they are licensed items. Now, I always like to open my items with my knife. So I will cut open the tape and then I will just stick this under an edge to poke it up. That way I'm not tearing it with my finger trying to open it. So this one is also packed in a very similar way. Okay, so this one has one, two, three, four little pieces. Then we have the compact. Preserve those so that I can use them later. Ooh, cool. Let's talk about the quality of the Crisis Moon Compact real quick before we open it. So this one again has the same kind of gold printing on plastic as this one did. I like that this one has kind of a sparkly effect behind the plastic that's supposed to be the crystal on the front of this compact. The top piece up here has a little bit of a sheen to it in the red printing and nothing really going on on the back. I do notice that this one does not have any flaws that I can see, so it looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, Oop, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this one did not come with a stand and I think it's because when you open it, this top piece acts as the stand, which I think is pretty cool. So if I sit this down, yeah, it stays steady, which is super nice. Oh, that's neat. Okay. So before I put any of the pieces in here, let's talk about it. So this looks like a park. It's supposed to be Elysian, which is where Helios basically lives. 
So we have some really pretty water down at the bottom that has some sparkles, very pretty. This is where the palace is supposed to go right here, which I'll put in place in a second. Then we have a bunch of greenery in the background. So very, very simple, simplistic. Now this is pretty cool and kind of funny. This was real life in Tokyo. This was a real place in Japan until some construction came in and changed it. So this is no longer a place that you can visit, but this tunnel and these concrete pillars that used to exist. So that's basically a scene from Supers. We have some cherry blossom trees on both sides. And then we have the Dead Moon Circus. And it actually says Dead Moon Circus right up here on their logo. You can open this. And inside is a little tiger. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. So definitely based on Eternal, the movie part one and two, Elysian has this really pretty palace that kind of clicks into place. There's three little places where you can actually secure this onto the Polly Pocket, the compact house. It seems pretty steady. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Yeah, it's stuck in there. Cool, so now we have the palace. Oh, I see why you have to remove it because it can't shut if you have Elysian in there. Yeah, it's definitely too big to shut it if you keep the palace in there. So you have to remove it if you want to close this. Here's the three little pieces that we get with this second compact house. So first we have, of course, Usagi, which I feel like would go better with the first compact house, like the first generation one, because that's her room, her bedroom. I feel like that would make more sense. But we have Sailor Moon, we have Usagi in her school uniform. Again, not a lot of detail going into these. Then we have Chibi Moon, little small lady Serenity, adorable. Oh, she's so cute. And last but not least, we have Helios. Look at Helios, oh my gosh. He's so cute with his little horn. It's so precious. They're so precious, oh my goodness. So there's the three, and then we can deck Great. So I'm gonna put him down here in Elysian. Oh no. Oh no. I need my museum putty. Oh no. Stay. Oh my god. Okay. And then we have Usagi. I put you. Oh. <laughs> okay. She's looking in the tunnel. She's looking for bad guys. And Chibiusa, you can hang out with your boyfriend. There you go. I put her up here. Will she fit? No. No. Here. You can chill in the. <laughs> Can I put somebody up here? I feel like their stands are a little too wide to use the top part. Yeah, pretty much kind of designated to the bottom piece. Okay, I understand why they didn't make more of these because they're annoying. <laughs> these are, ah, they're annoying. Okay, so there's the second compact house. <laughs> so great. Why are these so expensive? Why do people spend so much money on these things on the secondhand market? I don't understand it. I mean, I guess in the box, they look really cute and it's super fun and reminiscent of Polly Pocket. So I understand it from that sense, but like they're annoying. <laughs> So here's my two compact houses. I'll be straight. Hopefully they don't come out with any more because they are pretty annoying to mess with. So if I was to get any more of these, I would just museum putty the little characters, sit them on my display and then never touch them again. Or I would just leave them in their boxes and never touch them again. So <laughs> not really worth the money in my opinion, but I would love to know what you think as well. Uh, let me know down in the comments if this is something that you would collect. If you you would just like them because they are reminiscent of Polly Pockets. That's totally understandable. That's kind of the reason I bought them. Or if you're gonna skip these, let me know. If you missed my other reviews, I have a whole bunch coming out this summer. So definitely check out my channel. Please subscribe if you're obsessed with Sailor Moon as well. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. Janet.